So, good morning everybody, next day and next virtual trade show video. My name is Szymon Gumułka and today with me is... Paweł Kwacz, hello everybody. Vision Solution. When I discuss with the customer about the Vision Solution, <clears throat> some of them are surprised that Baruf have, uh, has such products in their portfolio. Some know because uh, during last years we made hundreds of different uh, applications and different projects. Today with me is Paweł Kwacz, who is responsible for, actually he is responsible for project management in our company. But a few years ago he was responsible for Vision System. Hello, Paweł. Yes, hello. I was a task member, technical support member, and I was solving Vision applications uh, since five years in Valve. Paweł. As I remember, the vision solution and the, 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 vis the concept of vision products in our portfolio is, is not new idea. Yeah, of course, it's not new idea. A uh, few years before I was hired in Baluf, uh, the company starts uh, their story with the machine vision solutions. And the history starts from the very simple uh, machine vision sensor. It was called BVS sensor and it was a very simple tool. Uh, with uh, not such tools as, as, as are available at the moment in our portfolio, in our portfolio cameras. And uh, they were not such flexible, but they were able to solve customer applications on that times. Yes, but as I think uh, f for some part of application, the sensor was, was enough to, to make some vision application. And for us, it was a great opportunity to get the knowledge and the know-how, how to prepare, how to make the vision application, yes? Yeah, exactly. It was also new for us. Uh, we had, let's say, three types of the vision sensor. And uh, we also had to teach how to solve this application, teach how uh, to solve the environment problems and other things uh, that, that, are, that are always present in vision applications. Yes, and I think it's the right moment to, to tell to our customers that we have the great support uh, when we are talking about the vision application. In, uh, uh, in example, regional competence center in, located yeah. in Poland, we have the Vision Lab, who is responsible for supporting our customers in vision application in the Central and West Europe, right? In, yeah. in East Europe, right? Exactly. Our knowledge is growing up from every month to month because uh, we are solving applications from the, as Shimon said, from the Central and East Europe. So uh, our engineers uh, are getting smarter and smarter and more experienced. Okay, let's jump to the hardware. What type of cameras we have in our portfolio? How we can support our customers? Because in my opinion, we cannot uh, discuss about the vision solution and uh, talking only about the hardware, yes? Because yeah. Only about the cameras. Yeah? Because yeah. if you have camera, it's not enough to make the well application, vision application, because we need some uh, additional uh, accessories like uh, lights, like uh, holders and something like this. Could you explain a little bit what type of, of cameras we have? Yes, exactly. We have uh, many types of cameras, depends on the functionality that is required. As we said before, we start from the uh, simple vision sensors. Those are the simplest uh, cameras. And what then, type of, of tools we have in such, in which type of application can we use the simple vision yeah, sensors? The most maybe? common are uh, reading codes, yeah, 1D or 2D codes. Uh, there are also some others, uh, others uh, like uh, pattern matching, uh, <coughs> checking simply if the dimensions of our product is correct. But those applications uh, has, have to be quite simple because the, this camera is not such advanced, but uh, it's always like that, that we have to uh, choose correct camera to the application. As Shimo said before, uh, this is not simple choice that we buy camera, install it, and it will work. You have to know uh, what is the environment of the in the working place, uh, what can happen in this place. Uh, for example, how the, uh, how the part looks in the sunlight or in the dark. And you have to get these all things uh, to your mind to choose correct uh, accessories, for example, uh, the light sources, yeah? yeah? So this is the second <coughs> thing which is very important when you are building vision application when you would like to solve something. And uh, the next uh, thing, uh, the next camera after the BVS sensor is smart camera. You can see it here. Uh, this is complete solution 
for the vision applications. Uh, the software is already built in there. Uh, it's much more flexible than the vision sensor because uh, you have much more accessories to, to choose. Uh, we have special covers. The camera has IP67, mm -hmm. so you can use it in much more places than simple vision sensor. Uh, the camera is able to connect the light source directly to it and uh, trigger it, so you don't need external device as PLC controller. Uh, we, we can show it. Here we have this yep. show exactly. the, uh, easy application. Here is the light, the right type of the light. Of course, we can also uh, choose between different type of the lights, different colors of the lights, yes? And here is the trigger connected directly with the camera when I put my finger here. And so the image see. was updated. We can rotate we, a little bit. We got the result of the, of the inspection. Yeah. Paweł, what about the software? Because a lot of uh, people are thinking that the uh, application and the, the vision application needs a lot of knowledge because the software is not so easy. You need to, to program something, to write some script or something like this. How the situation looks in our, our, our solution and our products? Yeah, in our solutions, we have uh, two types of software, basically. One is in the BVS uh, vision sensor, and the second software, which is built in in all the others' cameras. Uh, so, for example, inside these vision systems, uh, inside this type of smart cameras, there is the same software, which looks like that. Uh, we have very simple three steps to build, uh, let's say, uh, to build application from the beginning. We have to set up the screen, uh, choose correct uh, tools uh, to check uh, our object, and then send the, send the output information to the external device. And in each step, we have very simple wizard, and everything mm -hmm. looks the same in each kind of devices. So uh, we try to uh, make a standard software, and the difference between, for example, smart camera uh, and uh, smart vision controller, controller vision system, uh, the difference is only inside the details. Yes. So basically, if someone can handle smart camera, he can also handle handle multi camera vision system. If we are talking about our solutions. Okay. And what about our support? We are supporting our customers. Did we prepare some trainings or something like this? Yeah. Of course, we uh, offer our customers complete uh, support. Uh, starts from the on-site tests, uh, proof of concepts. Uh, we also do trainings for our customers. Uh, and this is uh, one of the most important things uh, that, uh, that our customers are able to uh, visit us with their problem, with their application. And here with our colleagues from the uh, machine uh, vision center, uh, they are able to solve it uh, together, yeah? So they also getting uh, knowledge mm -hmm. how to solve their problems, their applications with their products. Okay, and how looks the t t typical way if some of the viewer has some idea about the vision application, how we can start to make the process of uh, looking for the right solution, uh, writing the application. We need some information from the customer. I'm, I'm thinking about, about maybe, maybe to make some tests or something like this. Yeah, basically, uh, we start from, the, uh, from asking simple questions to the customer. Uh, we are asking for some photos. Uh, then our image. Uh, is building, our image about the solution is building, mm -hmm. and we are able to choose the first main uh, products for the application. Then, uh, if we have some additional questions, of course, we ask them, but many times we offer customer visit, and we are able to drive to customer and check exactly on the production line, uh, connect our camera, and check uh, if our solution works. Uh, with customer requirements or, or not. Okay, so we are offering full support. And what about the uh, integration of this solution? Because a lot of customers are expecting that we will integrate this solution on their machines. Yeah, our job is not only to prove our customer that our product works, uh, works uh, with uh, 
their tasks. tasks uh, we are also able to uh, deliver complete solution. Yes, so we can mount this camera on the customer side. We uh, we can program the PLC, build construction, uh, connect outputs to the other mas machine if it's needed. If someone have upper level. Uh, for example, some cloud system, we are able to connect to it and give information outside. Okay. Pavel, where is the limit of, uh, of application, a vision application? I am thinking about, about the one functionality which is available in our smart cameras and on our vision system, and I am thinking about the Halcon bibliotech. Okay, so if we are talking about hardware software which is connected to each other, uh, we can start that uh, with our hardware. We are able to connect here eight cameras, which will work independently. Okay, I'm sorry, what's this? This is the smart vision controller. This is, let's say, the mind of the vision system. Okay, and, and what's those the are difference cameras. between the, the smart camera and the vision controller? Yeah, this is the solution for the, uh, let's say, uh, the task which needs uh, speed, more power consumption, okay. memory consumption, uh, if we have uh, much more than one point of the control, of the, of the vision, vision control. Okay, so we have three, three steps. We can divide the vision solution for three different ways. The first one, easy application, very simple application, we can use standard uh, vision uh, sensor. If we need to more the, the, the memory and the more uh, tools or something yeah. like this, then we have to use the smart camera. And when we have the special application, then we are ready to use the, the vision controller, right? Exactly. Okay. And uh, you said that we are also able to create our, um, let's say, tools, uh, especially for our customer mm -hmm. prob problems. And of course, we are doing this. Smart vision contro controller and smart camera has possibility to implement the tools that are not uh, there uh, uh, as basis, yeah? So we have Halcon software. Uh, this is, let's say, uh, very uh, flexible software for the vision applications. And we are able to write their scripts, uh, which are exactly they are programs, and uh, store it inside our, our devices. So for example, if someone needs something additional, for example, uh, to check the uh, width of the path of glue, we are able to give him complete uh, tool, which will do it uh, for him. Okay, it's a very interesting uh, example. And what about the uh, situation when we have the customers who are who is preparing the, the vision solution? I'm thinking we have some customers in our region that they are preparing uh, their own application and their own vision software. Can we deliver the cameras without the system? Yeah, of course. Uh, we are not only close to deliver the cameras as you can see here, we can also uh, give cameras, uh, uh, embedded cameras, which are exactly PCBs. So, for example, if there is some company which uh, use uh, cameras inside their machines, uh, they can also buy it from us. And there are a lot of different applications than industrial. Uh, where you can use, uh, where we can use our uh, cameras. For example, uh, even if we have uh, the uh, speed limit uh, check, speed limit uh, we can use camera, for example, there, because uh, the types of this camera uh, are really, really a lot. And we can choose between speed, uh, uh, sensibility mm -hmm. uh, uh, between the industrial uh, network, between everything, and we can build our, let's say, our own camera dedicated for, for us, I mean for the special customer. Okay, so what's the name of this company who is um, delivering such type of cameras? Because this, this company is the part of the, the yeah. Palouf since few years, and... Uh, the name of the company is uh, Matrix Vision, and the Matrix Vision is part, part of us, part of Baluf. And we cooperate very tightly. And uh, at the moment, uh, uh, we are able 
to deliver cameras from the 0 0.3 to 32 megapixels. Mm -hmm. So this is very yeah, huge range. Yeah. And uh, other things besides the resolutions, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are able to uh, do it as you wish, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, I got the information that we can change each component of the camera via Matrix Vision. So the, the right question of the Matrix Vision is what type of the picture do you need? What type of picture do you expect? Yeah. Um, in our da daily work, we are asking mostly about the application, right? Yeah. Paweł, what about the integration of the cameras with different systems? I am thinking about the uh, interfaces. Uh, it is easy. Mm -hmm. There are some special interfaces we have to, to learn or, or something like this. Few words about yeah. this, please. Uh, okay, so the uh, smart vision controller, smart camera, both of them have uh, Ethernet IP network and uh, Profinet. So we are able to uh, connect our solution with all, all portfolio of the PLCs. And there is also a TCP uh, IP network card, uh, which is exactly separate one in each devices and we are able to connect it to the PC systems, yeah? So for example, if someone uh, have a Windows application or a Linux application, we are able to connect it directly to it. Uh, we have some uh, uh, software development kits uh, that every customer can use, uh, and uh, he can program his camera even in the Visual Studio under .NET platform, for example. Okay, so we can write our own applications. Exactly, right? exactly, our own application from the very beginning. Okay, could you tell something about FPGA module available in the industrial cameras? Because we are developing cameras which, which we can uh, connect with uh, vision controller, but some part of the pre processing of the image, we can make directly in the camera, right? Yes, there are some functions that are not available in the other cameras. Uh, so for example, we can do one, two, three, or five pictures, make average and display it as one, yeah? We can, we have also- And everything is happened inside the camera. Yeah, exactly, inside the uh, memory of the camera. Okay. And so uh, we keep time, still we keep time. So this is not something it's, it is happening uh, outside, so we don't have to add this time to our application to the time of the check. So let's say we are still flexible. And uh, we have uh, HDR functionality, so we can do few photos and uh, choose the best one, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and some other, let's say, picture mixing uh, uh, combination processes. Okay. If I will ask you about the most popular application which you are doing with uh, Vision Solution, could you, could you explain us which type of application are the most popular? It's difficult to say Mostly. which is most it popular depends. because <laughs> each Vision application is different mm -hmm. and that's why uh, it's very important to uh, support with a good engineer mm -hmm. because each how, one is how different. How many applications do you have done? Uh, when I was in the task department, I did 20 applications uh, per week. Okay. Yeah. Not at the customer side. Yeah. Some of them were at the customer si side, some not, some inside yes. the lab, but uh, summary, summary 20. Yeah. Because we have the special place for, for yeah. such tests. We have the laboratory with the special special zone, a lot of lights, a lot of cameras. So we are ready to, um, to prepare the test. And we are recommending to make a, a test. Yeah. For, for us at the beginning, it's uh, important to get the information about the, the part OK part and the not OK part. Then we can try to, 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 to do something. Yeah. yeah. Customer can feel invited every time. He can visit us mm -hmm. with uh, his parts that he wants to check, even if he wants to uh, take his customer uh, to show him how, uh, how he looks for the solution, what kind of solution he's looking for, he can uh, take him uh, and visit us together. Yeah. So, as you can see, dear viewers, it's not easy to get the right answer, which type of cameras do you need? 
uh, we are not selling cameras, we are trying to sell the, uh, the best solution for you and uh, it's a process, yeah, it's a process we are supporting, we are uh, active in this, during this process. So if you have any question, please feel free to, to ask us in this part after, after this video, we will have the opportunity to get you answer. Uh, and later, of course, uh, you can contact with us uh, through the, any channels which you like. So thank you so much from my side. And feel free to visit us. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Welcome again to our last uh, webinar uh, today. And those ho today's topic was machine vision. Uh, thank you, Simon and Pavel, for the introduction. And uh, a word about me, uh, currently I'm working uh, together with the Vision Lab in Poland. So uh, we are developing other uh, and we are developing more than there was uh, from the Vision Solutions. So I think I should be able to uh, answer every question. So thank you for your activity and now let's uh, move on to your questions. Okay. This question was uh, from Carol. Uh, thank you, Carol, for the question. Uh, you asked us, is there a demo version of the software? Where can you download it? Uh, about the, <coughs> about the um, demo software, uh, we are able to provide you with a cloud-based version of the software where you can upload you, uh, your images and do simple um, or maybe not simple, just uh, to use the full amount of our uh, tools, uh, therefore the BVS cockpit. It is available on our site. You just need to log in uh, and then move on to your, uh, uh, to your orders. And there's an option to access the BVS cockpit uh, demo version. So feel free to use it. And if you need some assistance with it, feel free to contact your colleagues from Baluf. We will be really happy to help you with it. Uh, thank you very much, Carol. Uh, let's move on to uh, another question. Uh, Remigesh, uh, you asked us uh, if you can connect the smart camera to a S7-1200. Uh, 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 so uh, yeah, it is possible. The smart camera supports uh, Profinet field bus. So uh, you are able to connect it to your PLC. And uh, we also support you with uh, function blocks. So the communication uh, should be more, much easier for you to attain and to work with it. So if you need some assistance with it, uh, just like I previously said, feel free to contact us. We will be happy to help you. Um, and Marek. Uh, you asked us uh, a question. You need to measure the distances between holes on a plate. Uh, do we have a solution for it? Yeah, surely. Uh, we, our system supports measuring tools uh, that should be able to uh, fulfill, your, uh, fulfill your application uh, demands. But uh, after all, we need uh, more information about the application. Just like Paul said, it is not as easy to uh, choose the right products for your application just on the short description uh, to fulfill your demands of the application. We need to choose the right camera, the, the right lighting. And for that, we need to know more information about the uh, area of the plate, how big is it? Is it uh, that the dimensions would be great? And uh, what should be the accuracy? And how big should, uh, should the holes there be? Those are the information that should allow us to choose the right uh, camera of the right matrix and uh, to choose the right uh, lenses for with the focal point to get the whole image and allow you to work with our system. So, if you need some more information, just feel free to ask us everything. And if you need some uh, tests, we can provide you with tests that can be done at our center, or we can just uh, give you uh, the samples of our products so you should be able to test it on your own. But uh, don't, uh, don't be afraid, we will assist you with it. 
so we can find a solution that would be right for your application. Thank you, Marek. Okay, uh, Michał Jakubowski, he asks us, does our controller use Profinet Isochronous real-time? Uh, how, uh, how can it be used with the connection to motion system to detect fast-moving objects and synchronize grippers? Um, thank you, Michael, uh, for your question. Um, our controller does support Profinet I.O. About Profinet asynchronous real-time, about the cycle times of one millisecond, uh, there uh, is, I, I'm afraid, there's no way to uh, do some, this kind of uh, communication. It is uh, kind of fast for, the, uh, for our controller because uh, it's uh, using, uh, it's not using a, Siemens-based software, but after all, we are able to do fast, uh, fast application. We got some uh, experience about synchronizing the grippers just on uh, um, just synchronizing the conveyor belt and the encoder there, and synchronizing uh, the application tools uh, that we are using for the controller. We need to know how fast the uh, motion of those objects will be. And uh, about synchronization with the grippers, we need also to know uh, what kind of robot you are using now. Uh, if you pro provide us with this information, we surely will be able to uh, choose the right components to get this much information you need to, uh, to, to work with and to attain the speed of the application you need. So um, we will surely together find some solution, just feel free to ask us. Isidore, uh, you ask us, uh, what if there is a need to have a specific tool customized? Are you providing the scripts and the support as well? Uh, nice, uh, thank you very much, Isidore. Uh, I'm really glad you asked us this. This question, yes, uh, me and my colleagues from the Vision app, we are now developing um, scripts uh, in Halcon that that contain more sophisticated function. We are uh, making those scripts uh, this way that it should be working robustly on the controllers and working robustly with uh, the Vision uh, system, the BVS cockpit. Uh, the scripts will be available on our GitHub. Uh, just feel free to ask your colleagues from Balov. They will surely contact you with us, or maybe they will uh, just supply you with the information you need. And about the, uh, about the support, yes, uh, we provide you with support. About, the, uh, about more information of the support range, just feel free to ask us. Um, Christoph, uh, do you you are asking us? Do we offer multi-spectral cameras? Um, thank you, Christoph, for your information, uh, for your question. Uh, for now on, we got no uh, multi-spectral cameras at, in our offer, but surely we will support you with information about uh, making this uh, this kind of uh, cameras and working with this. We got a uh, uh, huge, uh, we got this huge company called Matrix Vision and we are uh, collaborating with them to make other cameras. If you need some cameras that are more sophisticated than those that we are offering, just uh, provide us with the information of your demands of the cameras and we will support you with everything you need. Um, for now on, Looks like those were all those questions you asked us. Um, I'm going to be here for a couple minutes more, so feel free to ask us other questions. If you need uh, some support, feel free to ask your colleagues from Balov. And if those people who just uh, asked me some questions, if you need some clarification, just feel free to ask me, just write down uh, your clarification, the demand of the topics we discuss now. If you need some more information, you can reach us uh, via, uh, via email 
And if you need some more assistance with tests, we will provide you with everything you need. So don't be afraid. And, uh, and if you need some more, then feel free to ask us. Oh, Krzysztof, you, um, you ask us, is it possible to write scripts direct, directly in Halcon? Uh, yes, our BVS cockpit does support uploading scripts that are writ written completely in Halcon. But there are some, uh, some syntaxes you need to follow to, to, be the, to be understandable for the cockpit by the Halcon script. There's a uh, need to use the syntax. You need to follow the instruction of naming all your variables. This way, the cockpit will be available to read. If you need some other, uh, some other kind of scripts that are working not with our cockpit, it is possible to, uh, for us to make for you and maybe for you as well to make an application that is running without our cockpit, just using Halcon Run. So uh, yeah, we got some uh, experience. We, got, we made some applications that are comp completely uh, working with our BVS cockpit, the software that is dedicated for the system. Uh, if you need some assistance with it, uh, yeah, feel free to ask us. Our cameras work with uh, Halcon script, even though the full structure of Halcon script allows you to uh, work with all our cameras. So if you need some assistance with doing uh, your projects in Halcon script, we can provide you with all our knowledge. So feel free to ask us. Isidore. Uh, you followed up with other question. What kind of scripts are you available and where do I find it? Uh, about the scripts, uh, we got a list on GitHub. We can provide you with all the scripts you need to know. Uh, now we are developing another script. We are updating the scripts that are already there. We are fixing the bugs and writing manuals for those scripts. If you need uh, to um, uh, to work with the scripts, uh, just feel free to ask us. Just write down an email to your colleague uh, from Balov. He will support you with this information and those links where you can find those scripts. If you need some more sophisticated scripts, we can write it down for you. Just send us your specification of the system so we should be able to uh, use the right uh, operators that are that will be working with the script. So um, if you need more information of it, just feel free to ask your colleagues from Baluf. We'll be happy to uh, help you. Okay, looks like for now on, those are all information. Uh, there's a, a 30 seconds lag between that what I'm saying now and that what you're gonna see. So I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes to uh, just synchronize with you. And uh, for now on, uh, if there are no questions, I'd just like you to update with the, with the information about those webinars. If you uh, were not able to see all those webinars, don't be afraid. Next week, we'll upload those videos that we recorded on our webinars on our uh, Central, Central Eastern Europe Baluf site on uh, YouTube, this is the channel, and there will be all those information, uh, all those information will be uh, uploaded. If you need some uh, more information, our colleagues are working now uh, on all the Valve branches are working remotely, but we are available for you via emails, via te telephones, and if you need to use the web shop, don't be afraid, it's working 24 hours a week, so uh, just feel free to ask us. And looks like um, there's other cameras. Okay, Igor, you ask us, uh, how precise is the best camera? I want to measure, compare some picture, picture dimensions. About those cameras, uh, the, uh, the most, precise camera, they need to 
just contain a edge of the uh, measurement field you want to measure on three pixels. So it depends on the uh, uh, biggest pixel and uh, how big is the matrix and how much megapixels does the camera have. For now on, our uh, most precise camera has got uh, 20 megapixels, uh, or maybe I'm, I'm going to update it. It's about uh, 32 megapixel cameras, and we are able to uh, measure those, if, uh, those system you want. To. About the precise, um, about how precise those cameras are, well, uh, for now and for my memory, we are able to work with uh, the precise of 0.01 millimeters for now. And those were, were the most uh, precise uh, measurements we've done. We, we were using uh, uh, collimated uh, lightning, a collimated uh, um, telecentric lenses for it. Uh, but it all depends on the area you gonna need to measure. If there's a big area and the camera needs to cover uh, a big area, uh, the precise of the measurements is gonna be lower. So you have to uh, provide us with information of the application you want to use the precise measurements. If you need some more information, you can send us uh, or maybe uh, ask us about the samples of our products so we can provide you with it and provide you with information about the uh, measurements. So if you need some more information, just feel free to uh, ask us and your colleagues from Baluf. Uh, thank you, Christian, for your update. Uh, uh, if you uh, need more, uh, if you've got some questions, just feel free to ask me everything. Um, and looks like now for like there are every question answered. If you uh, need more from us, uh, we can provide you with every information you need about our products. And uh, I would like just to remind that what I said previously, if you were not able to see everything, don't worry, next week uh, we will upload the recordings and the videos on all the snapshots for those week's webinars on YouTube. Just find us on Central Eastern Europe YouTube channel, uh, Ball of YouTube channel, and uh, they will be waiting for you. Just stay tuned and... Have a nice day. Thank you for this adventure of this uh, week. Uh, I'm glad you were happy with our uh, presentation and we are looking forward for your feedback. If there's some uh, things we can improve, we like to uh, we like to attach your information about that for us. So just feel free to ask us and send us every feedback you need. So thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. Stay healthy and goodbye.